Welcome back. Ho, ho, ho. It's the holidays. And today we are talking about 2021's worst holiday gifts you could possibly think of and designer gifts you can give instead. So if you guys are scrolling Amazon and don't have a clue of what to get, I have 10 easy things and we're starting right away. Number one of the worst gifts to give in 2021 is exercise gear. If someone has asked for it, that's great. But if they haven't, woo, that's a no go. All right. Instead, what do you give? Oh. I love these beautiful subscriptions where they can send you food. You can cook it up yourself. It's imaginative. I can't boil water. So it's great for me because all the instructions are in there and you get to eat fun new food and it's good for you. So there you go. Number two on my worst gifts list is self-help books. We that just sends the wrong message and it implies that maybe there's something wrong with them. So what do you give instead? Ooh, a beautiful designer, gorgeous coffee table book. Something that you know is a subject they'll love. Oh, they'll display it with pride. Number three on my worst gifts list is, and this should go without saying guys, pets. Oh, Unless someone's asked for a puppy, don't give them a puppy. You're giving them a lifetime of walking dogs and they may not want that. Hello. Anyway, so what do you give instead? Ooh, a beautiful house plant. Now, who, if you're worried that they're going to kill that too, then make sure you check out my video on no kill, no frill, great house plants for your decor. Number four on my list. Ooh, this one's again, very personal. Grooming and anti-aging gifts. Really? I don't even care if they have ear hair popping out everywhere. That's not your business. <laughs> that is their decision to make. What do you give instead? Ooh, some yummy, beautiful hand creams or something really that smells masculine and yummy. That's nice and neutral and does not imply that they look like a caveman. No. Number five on my worst gifts is potpourri and air freshener. Now, you may say, why, that's sort of a nice gift. No, it's actually a little too on the nose. It implies that their house is a little smelly. So, now what do you give instead? Oh my gosh, there's a beautiful, huge range of lovely candles out there that can put off a very soft fragrance, but the benefit of candles is that they also set up a nice ambiance in the space, and they're a decor item. So. Candles, not Glade. Now, number six on my no-go list, and this is kind of for you guys, so you understand. Never give somebody shapewear. Lovely lingerie, absolutely. Beautiful nighties, no problem. Shapewear is a no-go. It implies things you do not want to imply. Now, what do you get instead? Ooh, I love these yummy robes that are fur lined. Oh, they're so fantastic. Or you can also get her some fuzzy slippers, something that she feels yummy and cozy and kind of sexy in by herself. Okay, so now number seven on my list, and it sort of relates to number six, is stripper poles. Now, some of you guys may actually work out with a stripper pole, and that's all fine, but that was probably your choice. So, don't give somebody that. Instead, if they're really interested in that, give them tickets to Cirque du Soleil. There you go. You can both enjoy it. Okay, so number eight on my list of worst gifts, ooh, for 2021, is a scale. Ooh, a weight scale, guys. No one wants to imply that someone needs to lose a little or know what they're doing. Instead, what you want to do is give some cool AirPods or the Beat headphones by Dre. Everybody will get out walking. Everybody will be healthier. Okay, guys. Now, if you have not already subscribed, and I know that there's at least 60% of you that have not, come on, guys. What are you waiting for? Smash that button. Ring that bell. Get on board the family train here. There's so many tips and so much information that we're going to be giving out all along and you want to be notified every time a video drops. So get that done. <laughs> now moving on. 
Number nine on my list of, ooh, not good gifts, is art and artwork. Now, the reason is simple. Artwork is super personal. And if you want them to feel obligated to post it, but they don't really love it, that's just not a position you want to put anybody in. So what do you give instead? What's your designer solution to that? Is you give them a beautiful book about artwork. And if you want to check out the Design Club store, we have a beautiful book on all kinds of artwork, or another nice gift is to give them a subscription to a year's membership of a local museum. That way they can learn to explore artwork and the world of artwork on their own and decide what they love. All right, so now number 10, some of you may disagree with me, but I'm gonna make a statement about it, which is these old fashioned goofy kind of calendars, paper calendars that you hang on a wall. Now. A lot of people don't even use them anymore. A lot of people use calendars digitally. And, you know, we kind of don't really need to be chopping down a whole ton of trees. So what do you give them instead? Oh my gosh, how about a beautiful desktop accessory? So many of us are working from home and you don't want to be pinning up you know, hanging kittens in your living room, which may be where your desk is. So you want to make sure you give them something that's beautiful, that's on their desk, that makes them think of you, but is something they can use. I love this accessory collection or even a beautiful personalized stationery kit. That's also lovely as well. So two good designer options instead. All right, guys, now it's the holidays. And so I know some of you may opt for this one and it's just not a good gift. Number 11 is a random Christmas ornament. Now, if you know about how I feel about trees and sort of how they relate to the decor, what are they gonna do with this weird ornament that doesn't tie in with the tree that they've worked so hard to make look beautiful on its own without that ornament? So, what do you give instead as a designer gift? Think about a beautiful picture frame that would work with their style statement. And that way they get to put something together that has an image that isn't on their phone that they can treasure year round. And that's it guys, super easy. I've linked a bunch of these good suggestions down below. Make sure you check out this video here and I'll see you guys next week.